This is the full tutorial on Levi's haircut. First, watch the video from the beginning to the end. After that, if you want to use this video to practice for yourself or with your team, I'm going to be leaving a stop sign so you can pause the video and practice the technique. Let's get that feel rolling. We will start this haircut by sectioning the hair on the desired low undercut to preserve more hair on the top. Versus using a traditional horseshoe shape parting, we will use a lower pointed back. This is very important for this look. I will use the detachable blade three and a half on my oyster clippers. Remove all the hair evenly on the undercut section. The Levi Ackerman look is not a fade. And if you cut it too short, it won't do as well with the longer top. Separate the top section with a side part and divide the front from the back behind the ears. Cut a diagonal forward using free form sculpting with a feather razor. Use the same technique on a diagonal back to connect to the center back, creating this profile shape. Repeat the same technique on the opposite side. Finish the back on a pointy shape. To create the more pointing ends on the bangs, use freeform sculpting with a razor, like sharpening a pencil. For the rest of the perimeter, you can use the same technique. Or you can twist vertical segments and freeform cut the ends with the razor. This technique creates fantastic flow on the ends, helping you to achieve the PC look in Ackerman's hairstyle. To style the hair, use some paste. This will help straight the hair. Now, if your hair is naturally straight, you are on luck. This is the look for you.
to dry this look, I love this paddle bent brush. It wraps around the hair to facilitate getting the hair straight. To achieve the ultimate straight hair, the flat iron is your best friend. This is a tool worth to invest on. Here I'm using the professional tool by Coco, Pure Ceramic. To tailor this style, use the texturizing shears with the freeform technique. And the French method using a C-shaped undercut. Use vertical sections and cut on the surface of the hair. For the back area, based on having additional hair on the center point, separate the hair and work underneath first. Cut the desired amount based on the density of the hair. Just remember the goal for this style is pointy ends. To add some texture to the interior of the hair, I pick some sections and a texturizer on an increment motion. I skim some pieces on the top of the hair with the razor. These dry cutting techniques makes this style a custom one of the kind masterpiece. Use some wax to create the PC and separation. and always detail the front if you need it. Make a custom. Hope you love this haircut and the techniques that I used to achieve it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. This is Angel Del Solar making the hair straight. <laughs>